Hi, I'm Laura, and I'm recreating the Cindy Crawford book, Makeup Tutorial with Drugstore Makeup. Now, I am not a supermodel, that's for sure, but I was just so excited when I saw Cindy. She's around my age. She's a couple of years younger, and just this everyday look she did is something I think would look beautiful on every woman. So let's watch her video, and I'm going to show you the products that I picked that I think are very similar. I love our new Melon Serum for Meaningful Beauty. And this really is like a collagen booster. So. so Cindy's talking about her typical morning that it all starts with great skin care. I couldn't agree with her more. She uses her Meaningful Beauty Youth Activating Melon Serum to start. I'll be using this from Shea Terra. It's the Kalahari Melon Cold Press Extra Virgin Oil. Now this is light enough to wear under makeup and it helps to tighten and firm your skin. So I'm just patting this into my skin. I'm just going to use a little bit, and there we go. Now she says sometimes she's out late and um, she's tired and needs a good eye cream. She uses her Meaningful Beauty uh, eye lifting cream. Now I'm gonna use my 100% pure coffee bean caffeine eye cream. I've been using this for quite a while, and this is just fantastic. It's got a nice light texture to it, and it sinks right into the skin beautifully. It plumps up the skin. This is great if you have fine lines or especially for puffiness under the eye. Oh, now she's revealing a secret drink. that a makeup artist taught her and it's these golden ice globes and she runs them under her eyes to depuff her eyes. They look fantastic, oh my gosh, but they're $125. So I'm not gonna be buying those anytime soon, but look what I'm doing. I put two spoons in the ice water like she did, and I'm gonna just use them under my eyes for puffiness. And so I'm just wiping them off a little bit, and then, oh, they feel amazing. These feel great. I'm gonna do just what she did. I'm going up under the brow, and she went under the eye. I might just sit them there for a minute. They feel so good. These feel great. I can't believe how much, and they do seem to help with the puffiness too. So that's a big savings of $125. You can see it's making me a tiny bit red. Those gloves really look nice, but the spoons work fantastic too. That feels great. And now she's going in with her Meaningful Beauty Day Cream. It's got an SPF of 20. I'm sure I can replicate that from the drugstore. I have this CeraVe AM. It's a facial moisturizing lotion with actually more SPF. It has an SPF of 30. This has ceramides in it. I've used CeraVe for years. It is such a beautiful sunscreen and lotion all in one. Of course, living in Florida, I always want to get the best sun protection and so this gives me a 30 and that'll be good. I'm indoors all day and see how quickly it sinks in the skin and it just feels great. I'm gonna go ahead and put some on my neck too. Now let's see what so she goes in with next. By Terry foundation in She's got her <laughs> foundation out and she is using the By Terry Light Expert Click Brush Eliminating Flawless Foundation. Wow. And it contains hyaluronic acid. I'm going to be using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. This is amazing. I've been using this for quite a while. It gives beautiful coverage. It's a tint, but boy, it just really makes your skin look very youthful, luminous. I love it. I'm just going to tap it all over the skin. And she goes in, even though she applies the By Terry with the brush that's on the foundation, she goes in with her own uh, makeup brush and she talks about how much she loves using a brush now and that's what she does every morning. I'm using my Sigma brush just to blend this out. This tint spreads so beautifully. It goes on very easily. Just getting under the eyes good, over the lids. She doesn't use any primer and she doesn't use any primer on her lid at all. Now she's going in with her concealer under her eyes and she like, says she likes a very emollient concealer. The one she uses is the Amazing Concealer Hydrate. And I'm going to be using this one from Neutrogena. It's their Neutrogena Healthy Skin Brightening Eye Perfector. Now the great thing about this, it's peach colored. 
Her concealer she used was closer to her own skin tone, not a, a real bright concealer, but also this has SPF in it. Ugh, this hair. Okay, back to the video. Now, she's just sort of blending it down even into other areas of her face, the, the concealer she used under the eyes. And now she's going in with the NARS stick concealer. She uses a different concealer for discoloration on her face. She says she's got some hyperpigmentation, sometimes a zit, those kind of things. So that's what she's using. I'm going to use the uh, Neutrogena Hydro Boost. I love this line for uh, foundation and concealers. And I chose one very close to my own skin tone. I'm going to look for just little discoloration like Cindy did and just pat it into the skin. This is pretty good skin day. I'm going to put a little more around my nose because I have broken capillaries there. She likes to use a thicker concealer on the face and a much more emollient thinner under the eye area. Now let's see, she says she doesn't like powder much and I really agree with her, but that you need to set your foundation to keep it from um, you know, moving around during the day. Now she uses one from Chanel. It's their Healthy Glow Sheer Color. And what's cool about the Chanel is that it gives you luminosity, bronzing, and also sets your makeup. I found one very similar at the drugstore from Physicians Formula. This uh, CC, it's actually called the Super CC Color Correct and Care. And I'm going to use this big fluffy brush here like Cindy did, and tap it and just sort of press it into the skin. And what I love about this powder, it's very luminous and yet sets the makeup. Now she moves it over her eyes like this so the concealer won't move, and she just sort of presses it into the skin. Okay. After that, she goes into her brows. She has gorgeous brows. I do not have those thick brows. She talks about some people over plucking in the 80s. I didn't overpluck, I just never had great brows. But I am using this from the Creme Shop, their microbrow. She used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Perfect Brow Pencil. So what I love about the pencil I'm using is this super fine point. And I just hold it down towards the bottom of the uh, pencil and I draw a line above and below to sort of give me a stencil to follow and then I just lightly draw the hairs in. I need more towards the uh, edge of the, the point here of the brow. She doesn't. She has super thick brows, so she just draws in a couple of hairs. I've got to do a lot more work than Cindy. It's funny how brow hair is so different. My right brow is very different from my left brow. I'm missing more hair in this area where I have more on this side, so I have to go back and forth a little bit to get them even. She's talking about how much she learns from her daughter. Her daughter watches YouTube and will learn something and then show her. I think that's great. I've learned a lot from my daughter, Danielle. She's taught me a lot of different techniques. Now she's doing a one shadow eye look with a Charlotte Tilbury palette. Now the shade she's using looks like sort of a medium shade of brown, so it's probably something you have in your collection if you're a makeup lover like me. I have this palette from Rimmel that's supposed to be a dupe for one of Charlotte Tilbury's palettes, and this brown shade here I thought looked a lot like hers. So I'm going to go in, and the way that she does her look is she starts on the eye here, right on the lid, and then she says she just likes to bring it up a little bit, just drag the shadow up a little onto the bone here so that it helps her have a crease. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just going in with the one shade, patting it onto the lid, and then dragging it right up onto the bone. So that was really simple. I love that because I'll be able to get out the door quick. Now, the one drugstore product Cindy does use is this Maybelline Lash Stiletto. I used this a long time ago. It's been a while since I've used it, and I actually really love the brush like she does. It's got a longer brush that comes to a point, which makes it easy to get these lashes on the inner and outer corners. But I'm going to go in what she does 
in the video is she sort of puts the wand at the base of the lash and wiggles it up. And she goes over her lashes a few times. So I'm going to do that too. I'll do a little bit on this eye, give it a break, and come over here, and then I'll go back. She sort of works back and forth, getting the look she's going for. Okay, so she's looking at her lashes, and she says her husband actually hates makeup. He really doesn't like her wearing makeup. My husband likes makeup. He doesn't hate it, but he doesn't like me to be overdone. He probably like a look like this. Now she's using for blush the Josie Moran Argon Oil Color Stick. I'm using this one from Burt's Bees. It's beautiful. It's an all glow and it's in the color, let's see, Peony, Peony Pool. And it's beautiful. In the center of it, it has coconut oil. It's got jojoba oil in it. And let's see how she applies her blush. I'm looking at her and she puts some on a stipple brush. So I'm going to put some on this brush, and then she puts it way down here, like she smiles and puts it. I can't put it that low or my face looks too droopy, so I'm going to go a little higher up on the cheek. Oh, and now she's using her lipstick, and she's using the Charlotte Tilbury Superstar lipstick, and she likes it because it has color, but it's a gloss, and she wants that just bitten kind of look. I'm using the L'Oreal Color Reshine. This is in the shade, uh, let's see, Sparkling Rose. And she sort of puts it on just very lightly, pushes it in, and then taps it with her fingers. She doesn't want a heavy coverage at all. So it looks like that's her whole look. Boy, she looks beautiful. Oh my gosh. She looks amazing. And now she's taking her hair down, so I'm going to take my hair down. I had to do a little edit there. I do not have Cindy Crawford hair, that's for sure. Maybe that should be her next tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed this and found something that you love from the drugstore or maybe from Cindy's video that you would like to try. Now, the winner of last week's sunscreen from Color Science is Don't You Know. Don't You Know, if you will contact me, my email address is below. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate all of you.